The concept of the first Chevrolet Volt was simple. Drive 40 miles or so on battery power alone and eliminate range anxiety with a gas-powered generator, meaning you could drive to Duluth at the drop of a hat. The second gen adds refinement and efficiency, looking less like a mashup of Camaro and Science Experiment and more like a Honda Civic uh, with braces. I always admired the engineering of the first generation Voltec powertrain so much that, full disclosure, I recently bought one in a Cadillac ELR. The second gen system is even more impressive. Let's start with the four cylinder engine. Slightly larger, it's 100 pounds lighter and drinks standard grade gas now. The two motor generators, buried under here, are much closer in size to each other this time. Volt's lithium ion battery pack still runs down the spine, but with fewer cells is lower and lighter. Completely spent, it charges in 13 hours on 110 current or four and a half on 220. I will admit that I sometimes leave the charge port door open, sort of like walking around with your fly open. A new feature gives you a heads up. Volt's tech is a geek's feast, but what makes it great, right down to the shift lever, is that it feels like driving a normal car. Volt is nice and punchy in city driving. Zero to 30 takes about two and a half seconds. That's pretty quick. Our friend Torque gets the credit. Electric motors have plenty off the line. The run to 60 is quicker than the outgoing Volt. At about eight and a half seconds, it's no Tesla in ludicrous mode. Very quiet, a Buick badge wouldn't feel out of place. The ride quality is set up towards comfort. You'll notice a little bit of body roll in corners, but there is road feel and the Volt is actually fairly engaging to drive. The substantial mass is felt in hard cornering. Coasting and braking sends voltage back to the battery pack. This engages more aggressive power regeneration. Drive carefully and the brake pedal is seldom used. In optimal weather, GM says the electric only range is about 53 miles. Temperature has been hovering in the mid 30s during my week with Volt. That of course affects the performance of the battery pack. Still driving like a normal person, not babying it. I'm getting about 45 miles out of it. That's city driving at freeway speeds. Range dropped to 40. Okay, just made the jump from battery power only to gas power generator. Unless you're really paying attention, you may not notice. You will hear the engine though when you accelerate hard up hills. Still, it's very quiet. My guess is that you can't hear it off my microphone. Guesstimated gas fuel economy is about 40 miles per gallon if for some reason you never charge Volt up. Occasionally, uh, say on steep mountain grades, the gas engine directly powers the drive wheels uh, because it's more efficient. Chevrolet's dual cockpit design continues the concept of keeping Volt normal. The Tomorrowland touch surface is replaced with honest-to-goodness buttons and knobs. Plastics are hard, but of high quality. Anybody else see a nod to BMW in this color? The user interface is refreshingly crisp and straightforward. Plug an iPhone into the USB jack and Apple CarPlay offers clear, simplified operation. Volt has never been known for expansive back seat room. I'm five foot nine. I'm snug, but comfortable. The outgoing car was strictly a four seater. Someone can now sit in the middle position. I would prefer it not to be me. Heated seats are available. It's not as well trimmed back here. Bring the carpool gang along for the test drive to gauge the space. The glass panel that improved rearward visibility is gone now, but one thing remains. Volt is a practical hatchback. Seats do the usual hatchbacky stuff. It's easier to access the charge cord now. There is no spare. That's not uncommon these days. The open lift gate is a reach for smaller folks. Storage is about average at five packs. Volt is now easier on the eyes and the checkbook, starting at about 34,000 bucks or 40 grand as tested before the $7,500 federal tax credit. The strongest case against this car? Cheap gasoline. For those who simply want to use a lot less of it, the refined Volt makes electric car ownership a worry-free experience.